Hi everyone, it's Gets here again and welcome back to my channel. So for today's how-to video, I want to share you how to filter data on your worksheet, how to remove the filter, how to create a drop-down list, and how to remove the drop-down button on your worksheet. If you see this video important to you, keep watching and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell besides. Filtering is a great feature of Excel that gives you a lot of control over which part of your worksheet are displayed. I work in an office and this feature is really helpful to me because I usually deal with different information. And this will help me, this help me to show only the informations I need on the worksheet and hide the rest of the data. So let's switch on to my desktop to show you how. A sample worksheet on my desktop and here are the sample datas that I want to filter so the month the country and the weather so for example I want to only filter the month January on this column here so I, let's just right click this cell and go to filter and filter by selected cells value only January appeared on this column of the month at meron ding siyang filter sign dito sa cell ng month. So, dito sa filter sign, upon clicking it, may mga options na lalabas at ito yung mga data sa column na ito na pwede mong i-filter. So, kunyari, uh, gusto, mo din, gusto mo din ding i-filter ang the month of June. So, yan. Okay? So, only the month of June appear on the screen or on your worksheet. And kung gusto mo namang iselect all, yan. So, lalabas lahat ng original datas dito sa worksheet. So, when we did the filtering dito sa column ng month, automatic na din na nag-create ng drop-down list dito sa ibang columns. So, lalo na kung meron siyang pwedeng i-filter. So, tulad dito sa country, upon clicking the drop down button, meron na ding mga selection or options dito na pwede mong i-select so kunyari yung China okay yan, so only China will appear on the worksheet at dito naman sa weather okay, so summer lang yung talagang nakaset para sa um, country na China and then again, if you select all, lalabas yung mga original datas ng yung worksheet. And if you want to remove the filters on these columns, okay, so let's just right click the filter sign and then click this clear filter from the country. Okay, again, so yan natanggal yung filter again here for the month. Right click and then clear filter from month. So, yan. Makikita na natanggal yung mga filter signs dito sa mga columns na to. And another way is go to data and then just click this uh, filter sign here. Okay. Yan. Oops. But before that, let's select first the columns. Or highlight the columns and then click the filter. At yan, makikita na na-clear na yung mga filter signs dito sa ating columns. Another feature of Excel that I want to share is the drop-down list. So this feature is really helpful, especially when you're making a survey, a questionnaire, or any document that needed a specific options for the answer. Now, let's go through the step to create a drop-down list. 
So we have here a sample worksheet at ito yung nagamit kanina sa filtering of data. And here we want to make a drop down list on this column for the weather. So dito sa kabilang sheet, I have encoded three choices. Okay, so ito yung magiging answer or ito yung magigawa natin ng drop down list para dito sa column ng weather. So what we need to do is we will just highlight the cells or the columns na gusto nating gawan or lagyan ng drop down button and then go to data and data validation and then here dito sa settings niya dito let's set into list and then let's click the source and then let's go back to the other sheet at i-highlight lang natin or i-select lang natin yung in-encode natin na choices. And then, press enter and okay. So, yan. Okay? So, makikita na meron na siyang drop-down button dito sa side ng weather. So, if we, we, if we click this, lalabas yung mga choices. Here. So, just click your choice and no need to encode your answers. So, only winter, spring, and summer. Another way of creating a drop-down list is by encoding the source. For example, you have a question that answers only by yes or no. So, let's try. So, here, let's make a drop-down list for it. Again, highlight the cell we need to answer and then go to data validation. Okay, so palitan ulit natin yung settings niya into list. And then dito sa source, let's just encode the choices. Yes, and then no. And then okay, at yan. So makikita ulit dito yung mga drop down button niya. So we will just choose from our choices, yes or no. Yan. Okay. What if you want to remove the drop-down list? Okay, so simply highlight the cells na nalagyan natin ng mga drop-down list. Okay, so itong mga to. Okay, highlight them. And, okay, so let's do the weather first. Okay, so let's highlight this uh, column of weather. And then, go to data and data validation. And here, dito sa baba, makikita yung click all, clear all. Okay? At yan. So, makikita na nag-clear. Wala nang drop-down button. So, again, dito sa answer, uh, data validation, dito sa baba, clear all. Okay. So, there's no more drop-down list here. At yan. So, that's it for today's video. And if you find this video important, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this channel. And thank you for watching. See you on our next video.